Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Mulligan. How are you? Today we're going to go on a hunt. I like this activity. We're going to go looking for our phonemes and we're going to search for digraphs. Read with me. I can, I can find my, find my digraphs, digraphs. Ch Then, then, read the word. Read the word. I picked out a book we're going to be doing all week long. It's one of my favorites when I was teaching at Maxfield years ago when I was a first grade teacher. And I love this book because it has our digraphs in it and it has our blends. We're going to start off learning our digraphs first and reviewing them. I've taught them, but we're going to keep going over and over and over to learn them even better. This book is called Jump Frog jump. We're going to go through and we're going to look for those phonemes like ch, sh, and not all of them are in the book, but the ones that are in the book we see a lot. And I have them on a bright yellow post-it note. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try the sound, the digraph sound, then we're going to try reading the word. Then we're going to look for it in the book, okay? This one is our first digraph. It's the TH, 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 thumb. I'm going to try it. Th, it's this. See how I get my mouth ready and it helps me get the word? I want to say something very, very, very important right now. There is confusion. I've been teaching a long, long, long time, okay? And oftentimes, kids will try the T sound because they see the T. You see? They try that T sound. But guess what? It is not the T sound when it has its letter friend after it, the H. It makes a new sound. Whenever you see the T and H together, they go hand in hand and they make a totally new sound. They don't say t, ha, do they? No, they make a new sound. Bye bye, t, bye bye. They make. Whenever you see these two next to each other in that order, they say, from now on, we tried this first. Understand? Try it. Okay, so let's look for the word this. Oh, I found it. That is the word this. I get my mouth ready. I get that sound out to help me get the word. Let's try to find another one. And we're going to repeat in the book, but I want you to see them a lot because you're going to be trying that sound and practicing it. There's the TH again. I found it. Together, it makes a new sound. This. I found this. At. That. I see. I see the word family at. If I know at, I know that. Let's see if we can find it in the book. <gasps> there it is. That. There's one more that I didn't write. It's right here. That's the word the, the. There's a lot of TH digraphs. Now, remember digraphs don't always come at the beginning of a word. They can come in the middle and they can come in an end, at the end. Oftentimes when they come in the middle, there's an ending like an ing or an s or an ed at the end. But today, I see it at the end. I see my CH. CH says ch, ch. I see the word at, the word family at. If I know at, I know catch, catch. See how it helps me get the word when I notice those things I already know? Our brains remember those word families, don't they? Can you find catch, catch? I hear it. I hear the ch at the end. Here's one, and I'm getting a picture clue. I can figure it out. 
The digraph comes at the end of the word. It matches this picture. Remember that strategies, words in your text, in your sentences can match a picture on that page or the next page or a page before that. But this is the word, the digraph, shh. Let's try it. Let's push it up. Ish, fish. Let's see if we can find it. I see it right there. There's the SH at the end. Fish. All right. There's the word this, that. I remember those from the page before. There is the word that. There is the word this. Lots of them. Get your tongue out when you're trying that TH. Remember, when the letter friends come together, the T and H, it makes a new sound. It's not that sound anymore, is it? Why not? Because it's paired up with the letter friend, the H, and it makes a whole new sound. Let's try it. Next one. Next one. The, this, that. This, the, that. And there is that CH at the end. Ch, 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 ch. Brr, and, ch, branch. I see the word branch right there. The CH is at the end of the word. Ch, branch, ch, ch. I hear it. There's your TH again. Get your mouth ready right away. Practice it. Now attack. That. The. There is the. There is that. This is that word again we've had, the SH at the end. Shh. Fish. Fish. There it is. Very good. You're really practicing those sounds. Awesome. Let's just go over these quickly. I bet you can read them now once we get our running start. Now try it. This. That. The. Ch. Branch. Branch. They're all in here. Can you find those words in there? There they are again. Shh. Fish. Mm. Mm. Watch my tongue. Mm. Mm. That. The. Again, they're in here. Look for them. Can you find them? Good job. There's those. Get that running start. Get the mouth ready. The strategy. This, that, the, ch, 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 branch, branch. I hear it. Do you hear it? That, the, sh, fish. You see those words in there? See if you can read them now. Get your mouth ready. Mm, I don't know this word. It's new, but I know it says magic E makes this E say its name most of the time, not all the time. I'm going to try E. Mm, ease. These. These. That. The. Ch. Branch. There's that new word. These, these, the magic is quiet. These. Very good. There's that TH again. Get your mouth ready. That, the, 
fish. Do you hear it at the end? Again, get your mouth ready. This, that, the, ch, branch. They're all in there. That, the, can hear it. Oh, there's the SH. He's going like this. You try it. The end. Boys and girls. Remember, it's important to always use the strategy of doing a picture walk before you read. There's value to it. You can do it for sight words. You can do it for digraphs. You can try those sounds you know to help you get more confident as a reader. We're going to go back next time and look at blends. And we're going to do our picture walk again. And every time you read a book, always walk through that picture book from the beginning to the end and look for things you already know. We work our brain on things that we already know to help us become more familiar with new things. Boys and girls, remember, when you're working and you're trying to look for digraphs, you're looking for those H's that pair up with that first letter. Ch, ch, I can, I can. Find my digraphs, find my digraphs. Then, then, read the word. Read the word. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Adios, amigos.